Let's write three equivalent fractions for three fifteenths. And here's how we do it. We're looking for another fraction that has the same value, the same decimal value if we divide three by 15, just we have a different numerator and denominator. In this case, we could simplify three fifteenths. Three goes into three one time. Three goes into 15 five times. So three fifteenths, we could simplify this to one fifth. These are equivalent fractions. If you divide three by 15 or one by five, you get 0 0.2. Let's write another equivalent fraction for 3 fifteenths. So instead of dividing like we did up here, we could multiply. We could just multiply by one, but that would give us 3 fifteenths again. Let's multiply by two over two. That way, two over two, two divided by two is just one. We're multiplying by one. We don't change the value, just the way it's represented. Three times two is six, 15 times two is 30, and six over 30, that's another equivalent fraction for 3 fifteenths. Divide six by 30, you get 0 0.2, just like before. One more. We can multiply 3 fifteenths by seven over seven, which is just one. We get 21 over 105, another equivalent fraction for 3 fifteenths. This is Dr. Big, and thanks for watching.